The end of Propertius' last poem on his Cynthia. In a fury, she breaks in on his unenjoyable evening with two women, meant as revenge on her. When she had wearied her arms with hitting me, my slave Ligdemus was hauled from hiding and laid out prostrate. Ligdemus, there was nothing I could do. I was a captive as much as you were. I stretched out my hands in supplication and finally got a treaty. She would hardly let me touch her feet. She said, if you want me to forgive the deed you have committed, hear my exact terms. You will not amble smartly dressed in Pompey's portico. Do not bend your neck to look at the women in the top row of the theatre. Do not let a woman's sedan chair open and make you dally. Those were her terms. I will abide by them, I said. She laughed proudly. She fumigated every place touched by those women. She touched my head three times with burning sulphur. Every blanket was changed. We made our peace all over the bed. Catullus, poem 45, a scene between Septinius, a young Roman, and his Greek girlfriend, Acme. Septinius, holding Acme his sweetheart in his lap, said, My own Acme, if I don't love you desperately, and am ready to go on loving you unstoppably for all the years to come, as desperately as the most desperate of lovers, alone in Libya or dusty India, may I come face to face with a green-eyed lion. As he said this, Cupid, first on the left and then on the right, sneezed his approval. But Acne, gently tilting back her head and kissing her sweet boy's drunken eyes with her rosy lips, said, Septimillus, my life, may we always serve only this one master, as surely as a much greater and fiercer flame burns in the soft marrow of my bones. As she said this, Cupid, first on the left and then on the right, sneezed his approval. Now, setting out from this good omen, they love and are loved with mutual emotion. Septimius, far gone, prefers just Acme to any Syria or any Britain. In just Septimius does faithful Acme find all her delight and desire. Who ever saw more blessed people or a better omened love? In this poem, Horace addresses the goddess of love. He thought that he was finished with love, but he has discovered that he is in love with Glycera, and he asks Venus, the goddess of love, if she will soothe his passion just a bit. The cruel mother of desires, Thebans, Semele's boy, and amorous license, order me to give my heart to love, long since ended. Glycera sets me on fire, the sheen of her fair skin Flawless as Parian marble, her delicious naughtiness, her face so hazardous to look at. Venus has deserted Cyprus and rushes upon me with all her force. She will have no talk of Scythians or of Parthian horsemen aggressive in retreat or anything else bar love. Put here for me, lads, a piece of living turf, some greenery here for a sacrifice, and incense with a bowl of two-year-old wine. I'll kill a victim, and she will come more gently. This is from Ovid's poem, Cures for Love, and in this section he recommends playing hard to get. If my precepts have value, if Apollo through me gives mortals any good advice, though you, poor chap, are scorching inside Etna, beguile your girl, appear as cold as ice. Pretend you're well, so she won't notice if you're wretched, and laugh when you should want to weep. Not that I'd have you break off in mid-passion. My marching orders really aren't that steep. Feign what you're not. Pretend the frenzy's finished. Thus what you feigned, in fact, you'll be. To shun a drink, I've often shammed I'm sleeping, and while I shammed, sleep won the victory. A shamming lover duped himself I've laughed at, a fowler in his own decoy secured. Love comes by habit. Habit, too, unlearns it. If one can feign one's cured, one will be cured. She's bid you come. Come on the night appointed, you've come, the door is bolted, never mind. Spare the shut door your insults or endearments, and don't place on the step your poor, poor behind. 
tomorrow dawns. Don't make a fuss or grumble. Your face must show no sign that you're upset. She'll drop her pride when she observes your coolness. That bonus too from my technique you'll get. But fool yourself too. Set no date to finish loving. A horse will often fight the rain. Don't think about the prize. Unthought you'll land it. A bird avoids a net that shows too plain.